Okay, then, how do we escalate privileges? Or rather, how do they, and how do we catch them at it? Or investigate what they are doing, determine what they are in fact doing it, and uh, use what they are doing to identify them and provide evidence. They are, after all, still doing investigation. So, um... Okay, uh, buffer overflow. <laughs> yeah, um, hey, it still works. It's still something that people forget. Uh, it is still uh, an annoyance and an annoyingly effective way to mess with systems. And of course, when you mess with a system, you present uh, the possibility of an exploit, uh, you introduce a vulnerability, something that somebody can use to attack the system. Uh, it's old, everybody knows about it, everybody should be taking steps against it, and far, far too many people do not. So, uh, yeah, software exploits that shouldn't be there, but are. A Trojan horse, um, uh, somebody will introduce uh, a piece of software, will um, uh, do a drive-by download, do a, you know, submit to someone who is having trouble saying, you know, install this, it'll fix your problem, uh, use this software update which turns off the security rather than strengthens it, you know, all, all of these types of things. You know, a, a Trojan horse is uh, simply a piece of software that is said to be doing one thing and instead does something else, and generally speaking, something negative. Uh, it is uh, still being used. It is still common. It is happening all the time, and of course, uh, people using it are... are for attacks as well, you get all the calls, you know, this is Microsoft, this is, uh, you know, whoever made your computer, you know, this is IBM, this is uh, whoever, just a, you know, a name, uh, this is Google, this is Facebook, you know, any, any big name that anybody's going to trust, and they say, we have noticed that there's a problem with your computer. You will notice when they call you and say that there's a problem with your computer, they don't say what the problem is. They just say, here, uh, go to this website, download this piece of software, run it on your machine, it'll fix the problem. Uh, it will, of course, not fix the problem. It will introduce the problem. So, it's social engineering. It's a little bit uh, technical because... Uh, you know, they, they have uh, these pieces of software, but after all, there are so many pieces of software uh, nowadays for remote access. And, you know, they'll just pick one of those. So, uh, but there's an awful lot as well that have been uh, made for this purpose and, and will not throw up any red flags or warnings, which most of the remote access, uh, you know, legitimate remote access uh, stuff will do. It'll say, uh, you know, this will allow uh, the systems analyst on the other end to control your machine. And that doesn't necessarily tell you it'll allow anybody on the other end to control your machine. But, um, password guessing. Or install a password cracker. Once we've got in... Uh, then, generally speaking, we have access to the password file because, uh, you know, the password file has to be uh, readable. Well, the password file only has to be readable by the access software itself. So, uh, you know, as if it is properly secured, if it is properly tied down, if the permissions are set in the right way, then 
no, you can't do this. But uh, all too often, uh, it is at least set world readable. Uh, not thinking that if it's world readable, it's you know anybody can download the whole thing and then do a massive uh, password uh, dictionary attack on your system and, and break a whole bunch of different accounts. Or, uh, in the same way as the, the Trojan horse, um, they'll go in and they'll uh, just install a piece of software that uh, will run on your machine and break your accounts on your machine with your computing resources. So, uh, okay. Um, exploiting trust relationships. Again, as I mentioned earlier, uh, when they get into a low security system, that system, because it's part of your system, is very often uh, trusted by other components in the system. And so they'll exploit those trust relationships. And of course, uh, you know, it's not just computers that can be used in this way. Uh, these days, uh, you know, anything is trusted and yet so many devices are much more capable than we really need. You know, a router, a printer, uh, you know, a phone, um, all of these things are fully capable computers. And so, you know, we, we break into one and uh, even though it's uh, seen as low uh, security, low uh, importance to the company, still it's a trusted component um, if nobody has thought of the fact that, you know, this not particularly sensitive device uh, is still part of our system and maybe we shouldn't trust it fully. You know, if, if it's wide open to the rest of the system, uh, it'll, it can be used by an attacker to escalate their privileges, to get better, uh, more significant, uh, privileges for that. Increasing their access um, and ensuring that uh, they get to climb the ladder of escalation, get access to more and more resources.